This is no ordinary drone. It is designed to detect and attack an enemy UAV in midair. Shim Hyun Chol and his team of students are testing this new technology that could one day be used by the South Korean military. Shim heads the Unmanned Systems Research Group at the Science and Technology Graduate School, KAIST. He says these days, drones can be made by anyone. The fear is that the drones are very easy to build. They can do a lot of things. So that's, uh, it actually appears as a very new threat. And in South Korea, that threat comes from the north. North Korea's military power was on display at a recent celebration in the capital Pyongyang. That includes what appears to be a fleet of drones, some of which might have already crossed the border. South Korea's defense ministry says since 2014, it has recovered four crashed North Korean drones. One of these small UAVs reportedly flew a reconnaissance mission over downtown Seoul. While these appear to have only taken pictures, some security analysts worry that weaponized drones could come next. Moon Song Mook is with the Korea Research Institute for Strategy in Seoul. We did not expect that North Korea could make such small drones and avoid our radar. South Korea must come up with a new security plan to detect these drones quicker and attack them. And that could start with the attack drones that Shim Hyun Chol and his team are working on. He says confronting North Korea's or any enemy's UAVs will not be easy. Drones are very small. Drones are very hard to detect. Even if you detect it, there's very few things can be done. Shim says all his team can do is perfect their drone technology faster than the enemy perfects theirs. Jason Struther with Malte Kohlenberg for VOA News, Daejeon, South Korea.